we have read about means of transport in our earlier classes the transport system has evolved a lot it has developed from animal power vehicles to spaceships all of these vehicles require energy to move and we get we get energy from fuels so today we are going to read about fuels any material which gives energy is called fuel and we get energy from fuel after burning it this process of burning is called combustion all vehicles need fuel to move there are many different kind of fuels like fossil fuels and alternative fuels we will study about these kinds of fuel in today's class fossil fuels fossil means remains of dead plants and animals and fuel means as i told you that material which burn to produce heat and energy so fossil fuel means the fuel which is obtained from dead plants and animal the example of fossil fuels are coal petroleum and natural gas these fossil fuels get exhausted when used their stock is limited fossil fuels take many years to get replenished let us see some examples of fossil fuels coal oil natural gas kerosene and propane is the example of fossil fuels first we will talk about coal coal is formed when the vegetation get buried underground for millions of years ago it decomposes due to the high pressure and heat inside the earth there are different varieties of coal depending upon the amount of carbon content in them coal is extracted from the earth by mining it is used as a fuel for cooking heating and generating electricity it is also used to run steam engine and factories if we will talk about petroleum its formation also take, took place similar as coal when tiny plants and animal that lived inside the sea million of years ago died their remains sank to the sea floor they got buried under mud for many years and due to high temperature and pressure the remains got converted into petroleum it got collected in large underground pools called oil wells and we extract petroleum from those oil wells uh, diesel and petrol are some examples of petroleum diesel is used in heavy fuel, heavy vehicles whereas the petrol is used in light vehicles kerosene is used as a fuel for cooking in villages aviation turbine fuel atf is a special form of refined kerosene used in aeroplanes and helicopters other products formed during the refining of crude oil are called petrochemicals and they can be used in the formation of med medicines plastics paints etc if we will talk about natural gas it gets trapped along with the oil under the rocky layers of earth surface it is used as a fuel in vehicles in the form of compressed natural gas which is also known as cng or liquefied petroleum gas lpg these fuels causes less pollution than other fossil fuels they are the choice of fuel for public transportation as it reduces air pollution all these fossil fuels are formed in millions of years their supply is limited that is why they are called exhaustible resources as they cannot be created they are also called non renewable source of energy whereas the fuels whose supply can be renewed and causes less pollution are called alternate fuels some examples are biodiesel bioalcohol electricity hydrogen solar energy wind energy etc solar energy is used to run cars and in solar cookers wind energy is generated by windmills 
from wind it can be used to produce electricity and for grinding food grains and in extracting oil from oil seeds energy obtained from running water is known as hydel energy and it is also used to produce electricity if we will talk about biodiesel it is obtained from animals and plant matter and is being used as a fuel in vehicles in european countries bioalcohol is a form of alcohol obtained from animals and plant matter electricity is used to power the batteries that run the motor in electric vehicle so now what do you think what features uh, are essential to make a fuel a good fuel like cost availability etc we will discuss these things in our class till then thank you bye bye everyone keep reading